Hello, my name is Chris Fermer from Leaky Pipe Systems and if you have one of these, you probably have one of our subsurface watering systems for riding arenas. If you have, it'll either be mounted on the timber work surround of the arena or within a building nearby. Its job is to turn the watering on and off for you when you're not there. Adjusting the moisture status of this costly surface will stop it blowing away, reduce maintenance and more importantly, improve the ride. I hope this presentation will familiarise you with this reliable piece of electronics. It, coupled with the leaky pipe system, is pivotal to silently solve the watering chore without much effort from yourself. So please open the its door and don't be frightened by what's inside. It's designed to help you and is simpler than you may think. Inside the door are some instruction sheets. The laminated one is from us and this describes the basics of your riding arena watering system and some notes on its maintenance. Please take a minute to read this when you can. Our telephone number is on it and is at the bottom there. On the right hand side you can see the blue and grey panel where the programming of the watering is done. The grey selection dial in the centre of the panel is normally set to run. This is a day to day position. The blue buttons at the top left are for the selection and the ones on the right are for adjustment of the values shown on the display in the centre. Unless you have specific instructions from us, the mode switch should be set at basic for riding arena watering. If you have an external rain sensor, you can switch that on and off here. With attention to the center selection dial, this position system off means nothing will happen at all. Try not to leave a system in this position. My recommendation is to leave this in the run position. The first thing we should do is to check the current time and date. As you can see here, we've got the option flashing with the next and back button key and the adjust keys will allow us to change that setting on a 24 hour clock we'll go on to minutes and change the minutes as well and the date which if believe it or not is important so you check all these things adjust them forward them so on and so forth with these selection keys all under current time and date when the riding arena was built we installed the leaky pipe system in a number of zones to cover the area when the system goes watering it waters from the first zone through to the last zone in a sequential manner. Let's call this a watering cycle and the start of that watering cycle we can set in program start times that I'll demonstrate now. With our selection dial set to program start times we can do exactly that. Choose the time of day our watering cycle is going to be started. So if we look here, we see the first start time is set to off. If we press the next key, we can forward this to the second and third start times, which can be spaced at points through the 24 hour clock to give you the option of up to three watering starts per day. By pressing the adjust keys up and down, we can change that time past midnight and even backwards into 11 o'clock at night. We could do that for uh, start time two as well, which we've preset here for six o'clock in the morning, and three in an off setting. Please let me be clear that this is the time of day a watering cycle can be started. And as I mentioned, the arena is split into several zones to water sequentially. And so the next bit is important, it's zone run times, how long each individual zone waters for. Here we can see zone one, two, three, and four, all of which we can now adjust the amount of time from a few minutes to even a few hours. Choose an amount of time for each zone you have, and only experience will determine what that time is. Clearly water longer for wetter and shorter for drier. So something like 30 minutes per zone per day is a fairly typical setting um, and that time may be to initiate say at one o'clock in the morning. These are just guidelines 
really and truly. There's no substitute for just getting used to these settings and playing with them and seeing how that changes your riding surface. And remember, your riding surface is going to mature. So your watering settings for the initial part of your riding arena, initial times is going to be different to what it will be as it matures and settles. Now the next item is the days to water. Well, generally speaking, every day will be a watering day, but there is a choice here to select individual days to switch them as on or off. So you can say, for example, well, I don't want to water on Tuesday, so I switch it off and I will do the rest of the week. So there's a choice here, um, easily selectable, but in terms of riding arenas, generally speaking, I would recommend every day should be a watering day. The next item on our select dial is seasonal percentage adjust. This is a month by month setting that you can apply and it is a percentage multiplier on your zone runtime settings. So if you do not fiddle with your run times on a month by month basis, this gives you the option to preset this multiplier to guess the seasonal change in the weather and therefore the seasonal change in your watering times. Now you can see here July is set at 150%, which of course is a wild misnomer. It is in fact just adding time and a half. You could leave every month at 100%, in other words, what you set is what you get, or you could use this as an automatic seasonal shift to your run times. So all your important settings are on this side of the panel. All we now do is just move the selector dial to run and what you've set is what it will do. Now a short break to remind us what this is all about before we continue with the controller. Some useful features about run times and program times is that they can be applied to individual programs. Here we've got program A, program B and C and each one of these can have start times and zone run times allocated to it. It's not so relevant to riding arena systems, but if you do happen to have an indoor arena and an outdoor arena, it can be very, very useful to give them different watering regimes as one's exposed to rainfall and wind and the indoor one clearly isn't. So this feature gives you the ability to choose that. If at any time you wish to instruct the system to do additional watering as a one-off, say when your surface is new, there are some manual options available to you. The first being a manual cycle start. And this is the button on the top right hand corner. When you press this, just one watering cycle will be started for the zone run times that has already been set. Once completed, the controller will return to its program. Another manual routine is to be able to select an individual zone. Here we can go manual zone. Next, zone two, put some time on it with the adjust keys. Just 10 minutes here. There we are. Now we change the selector to run and after a short pause, zone two will run for 10 minutes and handily it shows you a countdown so you know where it's at. So that's individual manual zone starts and manual cycle starts. If you have a rain switch installed on your system, its status will be reported here on this beacon. Green is go, red means I'm too wet and I need to dry out before I'll allow you to water again. One final feature, this battery icon, keep an eye on it. There is a battery backup for the programming uh, in the back of this panel. Uh, in the event of a power outage, this battery keeps the program live. It does not operate the watering system. It's purely for the programming. Keep an eye on it, change it if necessary with a good quality alkaline battery. If you ever get into a big trouble, there's a reset button on the back of the panel as well, but you're not likely to need that. Make sure the panel's closed properly and that's it, it's finished. Program it, put it to run, 
and they close the door. One final message is our telephone number's there if you get stuck, but please get used to using this irrigation controller. If you keep the power onto it, it is a reliable piece of equipment and will serve you very well. Thank you for listening to me throughout this video. Here is some light relief, which I expect you'll find most welcome.